everybody. We'll go ahead and get started here in just a few seconds here. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. If you want to take a just a quick second, um, we're going to have you, um, if you have your tablet or phone on you right now, there's a couple QR codes that you should be seeing on your screen right now. Um, we encourage you to download the Kai's Clan Virtual Viewer app um, on either your Apple or Android device right now. Um, so it can help you be a little bit more interactive during this webinar session. So um, we'll give everybody a few seconds while you're doing that. We'll go ahead and get started here. Okay. All right. So I want to go ahead and introduce myself. Uh, my name is Matt Garcia. I am the co-owner of Maker Maven along with my wife, Jamie. Um, we started Maker Maven back in 2016 um, with um, the goal in mind of helping our educators bring STEM and maker culture into their schools, their campuses, their libraries, maker spaces, wherever they were at at that point. Um, in their STEM journey. I also want to introduce Brianna Kua. She's going to be on here helping us moderate some questions that you may have during the session today. So um, I want to get into a few housekeeping rules here to get started. So um, again, I do want this to be interactive, um, as interactive as possible. We want all of you to be able to have a voice during this session. So we highly encourage you to use the chat function. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you are using the chat, there's a little carrot there at the top. Um, go ahead and toggle that to all panelists and all attendees so everybody can see the chatters going on and we can get some of your questions answered. So if you have something that pops in mind, go ahead and ask. And um, if it makes sense at that point, we'll go ahead and answer that question. Um, but if you have some other questions that you feel like may be a little bit more in depth or may stray too much from um, what's currently being discussed on the webinar, please don't hesitate to use the Q&A function, um, add your chats in there, because we'll take some time to answer all of your questions after um, our great presenters today. And go ahead and continue the conversation or feel free to live tweet um, with us at maker underscore maven as well. So we're gonna be doing a few fun giveaways as well. Um, Kai's Clan will be doing two free LED name, name badges. Uh, so, and in order to win the name badges, we are asking that you are active on social media during this session. So please um, tweet at us at maker underscore Maven and also at Kai's underscore clan. That's at K-A-I-S underscore clan. So, yep, yeah, and you can see right there, Bruce is holding up those cool LED name badges. So I think that'd be a really fun prize for us to give away. So, all right, without further ado, I'd love to introduce our guest today um, with Kai's clan. So we have Bruce Jackson, the inventor and founder of Kai's clan. And we also have Ronell Schott, um, Education Manager and Sales for Kai's Clan as well. And if you're unfamiliar with Kai's Clan, I think this is going to be an eight great introduction for you to see some really cool ways that they're using coding and robotics and different technologies like augmented reality to really enhance what your students can do in your classroom, your library, your makerspace, or whatever you're doing to facilitate those STEAM needs. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Ronell and Bruce right now, and um, we'll see what we can learn from them. All right. Thank you very, very much. Um, welcome, everybody. This is so, so exciting. And I'm going to share my screen. So we're coming to you uh, all the way from New Zealand. Um, so I started this journey about uh, three years ago. Uh, developing Kai's clan. And um, I just wanted something else uh, for my son uh, who was starting to learn coding at school. And um, uh, yeah, so we just wanted something, I wanted something better uh, that he could learn modern technologies that are happening today. So we know about automation. You probably heard the terms AI. Uh, and these things are not a future thing anymore. These are happening on a daily basis. Um, 
AI can regenerate a, a human face and you never see that face before. It's completely new um, and AI is doing all sorts of things. So with Kai's plan, I, I bought a lot of different technologies and put them into one toolbox. And it's up to you as a teacher to pull out or the student to pull out out of that toolbox what you like. So here you can see um, it's a STEM toolbox. So just like Bruce is saying, there's all sorts of things. Every teacher, every student will find some exciting bits. So we've got virtual reality. We've got augmented reality. We've got sensors. So um, if you've been scared of sensors before, no longer. It's a multiplayer game, coding. Um, and we've also got some AI um, coding blocks in there. So when we look at the competitors, um, I mean, there's some awesome robots around. Um, everybody's doing sensors and data, so we really try to make it much simpler. Highscan sits on the cloud, so it actually means you can collaborate from anywhere in the world. So if we do distance learning, um, you as the teacher have got your mat with your robots, and then the student can actually code from home or wherever they are. We've got physical mats, exciting things, Minecraft, Tinkercad, and then the AR and VR. So when we spoke to educators, it was really important for them to see the lesson plan. So we've got 40 lesson plans. It's cross-curriculum because of the different environments on our mats. Real-time collaboration. We're working with ISP at the moment to get the ISP standards for students alignment. Multiplayer platform. And it's in these virtual worlds that sit on top of the physical mats. When we spoke to the students, um, they were saying they really like creating these robot avatars, and you'll see a little bit of that later. They liked that they had their own lesson plan, so not just the teacher, they could actually go and see what that lesson plan was. Multiplayer gaming, we know um, students these days love gaming. There's real world scenarios in our projects. And then it's easy to use the platform. My name's Alex, I'm from Tasmania, Australia. I attend Rose Bay High School and I'm in year nine. When I use Kai's clan, I really like that uh, I can use the robots from anywhere in the world. I could use the robots in Australia, or I could be in America or Asia coding the same robots on the same mat at the same time. So when I was using Kai's clan, I coded a project where I had one robot who had to deliver water to a burning space station to put the fire out, and I also had another robot who had to go replenish the water after the other one had used it to try to put out the fire. And it was really fun to try to work out how I had to navigate around the Mar around Mars and, you know, to figure out which different buildings needed to be on fire, which ones had the water supplies and what the actual block was that I was carrying. So um, purely by accident, when I was developing Kai's plan, I, I came across this thing uh, where we could have a virtual character move in a tandem with the physical robot. And uh, when I showed this in a classroom, the kids went absolutely wild. They, you know, this is, uh, we've tested this in, uh, from kindergarten all the way up and the kindergarten kids were moving around the, the robots and the virtual characters. When they put it on the big screen, virtual characters were moving around as well. So really good. Uh, interaction between the digital and the virtual. And as you can see here, we support Tinkercad and Minecraft. So you can design all those, you can create whatever you're teaching. If it's a, a lesson on Egypt or a history lesson about uh, great wars, uh, you can create a whole story. The classroom can collaborate and cl uh, create a whole story and uh, bring it in. Remember the school that was actually building those Lego blocks and they put that on the mat and then they put the QR code so they could actually um, simulate what was happening on the physical mat. So they were using Minecraft, Tinkercad, Lego, so it's a whole combination of these STEM tools. Yeah, and that one student uh, uh, created a Mars base in Lego and he created the same Mars base in Minecraft and um, so you could see both of them uh, combined together the physical and the virtual are uh, tied together. On the left-hand side, I love this photograph because it really shows the like, diversity of Kai's clan and how it can be used in and out of the classroom in uh, both uh, hybrid, uh, hybrid mode. 
Um, so here you've got some kids uh, on the on the floor uh, coding the robot. You've got a girl moving around objects, which are then interacting with the boy's code. You've got a girl holding up an iPad and looking at an augmented view of the mat, but just on a simple piece of paper. So it's uh, really platform agnostic. It works on Chromebooks, iPads, whatever you like. It's just browser based. Every student learns differently and not all the same. So we have to, you know, we have to allow for those students to grow as well. Yeah, excuse the French, uh, it looks like French <laughs> subtitles on the bottom. Um, yeah, we're a global company and our, our product works over the internet. So you could be anywhere and use Kai's Claim. Uh, here you saw uh, the augmented reality, holding up an iPad and viewing the physical mat in a virtual thing. So it's much like a sandwich. You've got a layer of bread, which is the physical world and a, a, a virtual ham uh, layer on top of your sandwich. And, uh, you know, so there's different mats and different environments. And you can also create, we've got a create mat and you can create your own environments. Here you see the virtual uh, virtual reality of Kai's clan. Um, but what's really important, the takeaway from this is having, you see there's three characters, a hot air balloon. There's a little uh, knight, there's a guy on a horse in the back. Each one of those are individual students coding their own robots. Um, the hot air balloon is a virtual element which is being uh, orbited around uh, the, the virtual world. So physical and virtual have a, have a big play together. Um, feel free to ask any questions in the chat. If you don't get it, it can seem very overwhelming what Kai's clan is, but like I said at the beginning, just pick the tool you want to use. If you like sensors, like here, uh, you can just use the sensors. We've got it being used in university uh, and primary school. So, uh, can I save that plant? What is the deal? That plant doesn't look healthy, but the dog, that's my, my that's my uh, dog, um, seven, uh, he's, what's he, 16, 16 years old now, he's an old boy, um, and he's guarding the plant. But with Kai's clan, what we can do is we can have uh, we've made it very easy to use complicated um, sensors. So it's simple to do. So here we've got a, a pot plant monitoring the moisture level in a, in a pot plant in the soil and a line of code which says if robot four's moisture level in the pot plant goes um, uh, below 20%, then uh, another robot's going to uh, water the plant, and we can do this very easily. And we support the BBC Microbit. Um, so when you tilt the Microbit, you can fly an aeroplane and turn a robot. So this one is aimed at 70 years of age. So if you haven't done sensors, you don't need to go and pick this tool. We do betas, you can actually get some girls. Really just decide what suits you. But in a high school, you can go and look at the census and do all the data um, analyzing. Oh, sorry, I'm going to interrupt one second. Yep. Renelle, your, your audio is a little bit muffled there again. Okay, is that better? That is much better, yes. Okay, sorry, I just moved away a little bit. <laughs> um, so just a little bit about distance learning, yeah. So my name is Susan Bowler. I'm a teacher in Hobart, Tasmania. I've been involved with robotics for 10 years. I sit on the International Robotics Committee. I'm president of RoboCup Junior Australia. So the difference between Kai's Clan and all the other little robots that I saw at that conference is that Kai's Clan is fully collaborative between, within the classroom, between the classrooms, but we'll be able to do the same projects via distance and that is strong. That's never been seen before. This collaboration via internet in the cloud just doesn't exist. We think that Kai's clan could also become a very good competitive um, platform for our students in the future because it's inexpensive. You don't have to put a lot of money into the game, but you get a lot of learning out of it through the programming. So my name so when we look at the lesson plans, like I said, we've got about 40, I think 42, 43 lesson plans at the moment, and they're cross-curricular. So some are kids' science, some are computer science, 
um, we've got social emotional learning um, lessons, we've got literacy, so there's a lot of Harry Potter happening on our regular mat. Um, there's the lesson plans for the teachers and the students, but you can also go and create your own project and share that in the community. So here you'll see we've got junior lessons, we've got intermediate and expert. You choose the lesson or you choose the mat that you've got, um, and then you can go and do the difference. So if you've got any questions, please just pop them down in either the question and answer or the chat room as well. So our curriculum alignment, like I said, we're currently working with ISTE. So with Kai's plan, when we developed it, we really wanted to create this low floor with a high ceiling. So, you know, from the, the, the toolbox, if you've never coded before, you can start with Pi Scan. We have got lessons of just how to move forward, how to turn around all the way to advanced lessons. So don't feel like, oh, I can't do it all. We've got loads of schools that just start with Pi Scan. So there's numerous ways that you can complete the task and seriously, everyone um, can code Pi Scan. And then there's a multiple um, grade level. So you may use this in, um, grade three or grade four, but you can also use it in grade eight and nine. So there's something for everybody. So when we looked at the product, obviously um, Matt and his team, they are awesome and they've been so good um, pushing our ties plan. So we've got the two products, mainly as the starter pack. The starter pack comes with four robots, a box of sensors, the um, rescue run net, and then we've got the classroom kit. So this is 12 robots, two mats and everything. So this is probably what most schools use because not every student needs to have a robot. We put them in pairs and then they work um, together. So it's collaboration between students. And also, uh, you know, important takeaway is that there's no subscription cost with Kai's clan. So it's a one-off payment, it's a one-off investment, and it's not a product that's going to be sitting on your shelves. There's a lot of learning uh, in the product in different technologies and yeah. Sorry to interrupt again. Ronell, you're completely muted at this point. Can you hear me, Matt? It's strange. I can hear you fine, Bruce, but uh, when Ronell goes to speak, it starts to muffle. He's on mute. Okay. So uh, thanks. Thanks for letting us know. Um, sure so we've got the autonomous warehouse, Matt, and I love this, Matt. It's, it does uh, like an Amazon warehouse simulation. Uh, great for the higher, you know, for high schools or intermediates. Uh, we've got Rescue Run, which we'll be showing you today. Smart city, you've got uh, environments and uh, you know solar plant, uh, solar farms on there, uh, a lot of environmental stuff. Mars Discovery, I love this one. Uh, we've just completed the uh, a, a space race competition with schools um, and some of the entries are absolutely mind blowing. And we've got the Create Mat. The Create Mat allows you to create your own uh, designs uh, not just physically, but also virtually. So you can put, kids can draw, you know, pictures and put them down on the mat and then you can drive to those and then create them in Minecraft and, and get them to see uh, the physical come to, to life in virtual. We provide a free online setup. So if you get the package uh, from Matt and his team, uh, we will fully support you uh, online and get you up and running. We provide free training for the products, a free PD. Uh, we've got 10 levels of uh, certification uh, to get you to a Kai's Clan expert. Uh, we've got, um, you know, we do these webinars very often. We've got fantastic YouTube tutorials, which guide you through the processes as well. We offer 12 month warranty and we even include, you know, we get asked a lot by uh, educators like, are the robots robust? Well, if I grab one over here, um, these guys are very uh, robust. It's uh, made of polycarbonate. Uh, you can take the robot apart. We include spare parts in here. 
Um, you know, you've got everything that an educator needs in, in the box. Um, we've been recognized by, um, uh, 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 with a few awards and we picking up more and more. Next year, we'll have a whole fleet of awards <laughs> with this product. Um, we've got the top pick for learning. Um, we've been featured in Heidi Williams' uh, No Fear for Coding, uh, her new book that's being released, um, as well as influencers um, uh, from like David, um, David Lockett from NASA Education. Uh, we're on the new on New South Wales uh, Education uh, Government uh, Department thing. So we've got a lot of influences around the product, um, and I hope uh, you know you can have a have a try of Kai's Clan. I am Jamie Donnelly here in Texas in the U.S., and I love talking to Kai's clan because they always have the craziest ideas. You can really throw anything at them and somehow they always come through with a way to figure it out. They have such an amazing platform for you to be able to share and learn with your students. And your students have a chance to really be the creators of content, not just learning how to code and not seeing that code come to life, but really even developing your own 3D content and pulling, pulling it in and having gameplay and opportunities for your students to see those things come to life, both in augmented virtual and even in the 3D on your computer. So it's so wonderful to see the cross-platform opportunities for our kids and using this amazing immersive technology resource with Kai's Clan. So I hope you guys have a chance to check it out. Hi, I'm Jamie. Okay, so now it's time for some fun. I'll just bring this computer over because uh, we're gonna have some fun now. Um, let's stop the uh, demo. First, just stop share down there, please. All right, uh, before we uh, go any further, have we got any questions? Have we got any questions? Let's have a look. It was really cool. Sure, what are the, uh, that was really cool for the student. What are some of the really world application students' visits? You mentioned something with Amazon. Oh, uh, yeah, so um, we've got a, a warehouse mat, and uh, that does like an Amazon warehouse simulation. So uh, it, it goes through the order picking process of um, when a kid like orders something on Amazon, what happens in the back end? And it teaches that whole logistics uh, process um, throughout the whole, um, you know, of process of uh, ordering a product on Amazon. And we've got the lessons with that as well, uh, as well as virtual uh, Amazon warehouse. Well, not, it's not an official Amazon warehouse, but an Amazon warehouse simulation. Um, but we've also got other lessons. For example, we've got a whole fire risk lesson. So in Australia, when they had those terrible fires in Adelaide, we did a lesson around that. So, you know, they can use it um, with your terrible Californian fires. We've got three lessons around COVID. We've got a whole bunch of lessons around bees. Because bees is really important. We really need to look after bees. So here we sort of say, what happens with a queen bee when she gets wet? All the workers come and take her and help her. So there's lots of real um, world lessons in there. Um, okay, so we've got a question here. What sets uh, Kai's clan apart from all the other robots uh, on the market? And there is a lot of robots on the market. So, um, okay, so let's go through them. Well, the first thing is uh, we have virtual worlds. And what I'm about to show you is a AR view of our physical mat. So let's just uh, get that set up. We do sensors. We support over 35 different sensors with, um, with Wi-Fi. Um, so that means that our robots are not just a solo experience, you know, you like you're not using Bluetooth in our system, uh, where you get a one to one thing, you've got uh, collaborative coding so that means you've got the whole class working together. Can you share the screen right now. Okay, we just fired up the iPad here. So uh, what you can see in the background is uh, the physical mat with a virtual layer on top of it. 
So you see the little upright monkey there. Sorry, Renel, just go back to upright monkey. Can you move the robot around just manually? Just move it to the right hand side so we can actually see it. There you go. So just move it to the right. So further to the right, Renel, so where the water is. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so here you go. See, so now wherever the robot goes, the, the virtual character is also uh, tied with that. Uh, and we use these QR codes in the environment, which makes it very easy and tactile. There's a spider, which is that QR code. So when the kids are moving these around with the robots, they've got grippers on them and they can go and grab the, the chocolates or the spiders. There's a dragon over there. Now, all of these characters can be animated and I'm gonna show you that shortly. So this is the augmented view. There's a 3D view of this. If you downloaded the app, um, you could also uh, see this view as well. So if, uh, Ren, what's that? Uh, so VR, uh, we support uh, Google Cardboard on the iPhone or um, Android, and that enables you to sit inside the driver's seat of a robot. So if we're doing the Amazon warehouse, then um, if if you if we just go we'll just um, hold over the amazon warehouse simulation it won't be too relevant because we've got um different characters on here so instead of uh, forklifts and stuff we've got spiders <laughs> Um, but here you can see this is the Amazon warehouse uh, in augmented reality. But if we're using this as VR, then you'd be sitting inside the truck there. And when you drive your robot on the mat, then your virtual character or your virtual view is also changing. Any other questions on that? Uh, let's have a look at Mars quickly. Hang on. There we go. We've got spiders on Mars now. Did you ever know? Okay, cool. So I'll just stop sharing that and let's just get into some coding. Um, so this is uh, Kai's, Kai's Blockly um, uh, interface um, and it's very easy to use. So uh, we do block coding. We've got JavaScript. Uh, and uh, let's have a look at moving a robot. It's really easy to start. So as you can see, uh, I don't know if you can see the video, there's a map overview of the act physical mat on the floor. Uh, and we've got robot seven here sitting up at the top as well. So now I'm gonna move robot seven uh, about let's say 30 centimeters across the mat. So if I click run, you'll see now robot seven will be traveling. And if you can see the video as well, uh, what the fuck, click. Uh, let's, let's try another one. Let's see, robot four. Every time you do a demo. What, what have I, <laughs> apologies for this, just hold on. Yeah. So every time you go and do a demo, this is uh, the things that happen, technology. Just like a classroom, things go wrong. Uh, let me just try again. Okay, I'm in the wrong classroom, it looks like. So with Kai's Clan, we have uh, different classrooms. So you can create a classroom code and then uh, join that classroom. Let's see if that kicks in, there we go. Yeah, there we go, okay. So let's, uh, let's do that again. So I'm gonna say robot seven, uh, move forward. 
30 centimeters. So I click run. And here you see the, the, the uh, map view. So a nice thing with Kai's clan is we can, te we can teach coordinates. Um, so you can see, I don't know if you can see the, the Bruce Jackson uh, video there um, with the top down view of the physical mat. Uh, we've also got a virtual view. So let me just uh, switch to that. Well, okay, so um, there is the selfless dog, uh, which is robot seven. So if I click run again, you'll see the, the virtual view moving, the physical view moving. So both are tied together. Now, if I'm using uh, Minecraft, I can come into Kai's clan here and I can go into Tinkercad or Minecraft and then load it load our virtual character onto that robot. So let's just do that quickly. Let's use that spider. So I think the spider just to think maybe he cut his tongue. Oh, I love R2-D2. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put R2-D2 as robot seven. If you keep an eye on the virtual view, um, you'll see um, that change. So let's just move the robot back a bit. Move backward five centimeters so we can see him. And let's do some effects. So with Kai's clan, we can do all sorts of virtual coding as well, not just physical. Um, you can use you can use this um, the robot seven. We can do this in the virtual world. Uh, so we can do it remotely. So we can do remote learning with Kai's clan. So let's just run this code. So if you haven't coded before, you can see I'm just snapping uh, each block in. And now you should see uh, R2-D2. There we are. You can see him hiding behind the tree and he's moved around. Uh, there's a message a message box uh, up there as well. So it's, it's a lot of fun. So it's been a different um, language as well. So, um, you know, you can maybe, um, you know, say, what is a cat? And then they can type out in the speech bubble, what is a cat in a different language? So we really want to cover literacy. We want to cover social science, but it's the creativity of students that come out here and help with the design of the characters. So we really use STEM in the true sense um, of the world. So animations kids are very very familiar with animation and effects so we can do all that we've got the normal blockly code so it's really easy to do all the movement um, and i know bruce is dying to show you a sensor and why don't we do a temperature sensor and show them how the humidity can affect maybe moving the robot that's a good idea so um this is kai and uh, he's got a he's got a distance sensor on the front of him, just like you've you've probably seen those used a lot. QR codes. So um, uh, our system uses these uh, everywhere. Uh, you can design your own Lego and slap a QR code on top. You can use three D printing if you've got. Um, and so this is a little robot. So on the back, you can see it's got uh, a yellow and a green port. Now these ports are used for the sensors. Uh, and sensors don't have to be difficult. So I can do a self-watering plant with this uh, very easily. Uh, but let's do a temperature sensor. So I've got a temperature sensor here. This is a temperature and humidity. Um, and I'm gonna show you how easy this is. So, um, So here we go, um, that's plugged in. So white goes to white and you see the other end's got a green plug. And now I'm gonna plug that into the back of the robot. So the robot three. So that's plugged into the back of the robot. Uh, let's get a little flip. So I hook a little uh, clip onto the back of the robot and plug in the sensor, connect the sensor. 
There we go. So that's what the robot looks like. And now if we go into, is this, uh, let me sh share the screen. So share screen. The more you share, the more the better the chance you've got of winning one of these uh, awesome LED badges. Okay. Right. So, um, Robot 3, uh, you remember we put in a sensor into the green port on the back. Click on the green button there. Scroll down and choose the same sensor, the picture of it. And then uh, click, uh, I've got so many Zoom things, and click Save. Uh, now we're ready to start collecting uh, humidity and temperature. So if I click on robot three now, you can see the temperature in, uh, in our room here in New Zealand is 26. Uh, that's uh, 79 Fahrenheit. Uh, and we've got a 79% humidity. So it's a bit of a sticky day today. But now if I breathe on the sensor, Probably not. Uh, in New Zealand, we're COVID free at the moment, so we don't have to practice distancing, uh, you know, social distancing. So no social distancing with robots. And here you can see the humidity has gone up to 95%. And then I think that Excel, you can actually go and export all the um, data, and then you can teach students how to do the graphs. Uh, yes, the sensors are included in the kits. Uh, the big sensor pack here, this has got water pumps, so you can water your own wireless gardens. It's got temperature sensors. It's got, uh, uh, you know, a, a light sensor. So if you turn the lights off, you can give the, make the robots go boo. Um, so yes, we have different size sensor packs included in the different kits. So thanks. That's a really good question, Jenny. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, right. So um, what I can do is I can make a hot air balloon, a virtual hot air balloon float in the sky in the virtual world based on the humidity. And this is a great educational thing to, to teach uh, kids about humidity and temperature and how it, uh, you know, rises. So we can use that as an air temperature. Um, yeah, what else, Renal? Well, it supports Java, so you can see the JavaScript. Um, do you want to pop over to those projects? I think it would be really good to just go and have a look at projects. Oh, I just clicked on Excel. <laughs> so um, with Kai's Clan, uh, you, there's a lot of data. And with data, you can do a lot of graphing. Uh, so then we can analyze that data and see um, you know, see how far did the robot travel? What was the battery usage? What was the temperature? So if you want to do these things, you can do that with, um, with uh, Excel or Google Sheets. We support both. And that's, uh, yeah. So, uh, Renel, you're talking about projects. Yeah. So under Kai's projects, you will see the different mats. So, um, there you'll see there's the Mars mat, the rescue run mat. So each of them got different lessons. So if we go onto the warehouse mat, um, there you'll see some expert and advanced. So if you just maybe click on um, one of the receiving lesson plans. So this is in a busy day. We load some um, basic code. The students still need to go and work it out. And then here on the right hand side is a lesson plan for the student when they log in. And then there's also a lesson plan for the teacher. Um, so it explains everything. But if the student gets stuck, Bruce, what we've got that new facility? Uh, yeah, so um, with Kai's plan, because we support hybrid learning, uh, it allows the, the students uh, who are remote uh, to ask uh, the ask the teacher questions through um, Kai's Clan, uh, not via Zoom or any other product. You can do it inside Kai's Clan. 
And uh, you, the teacher can also check on their work uh, remotely. So you can load uh, a student's code and see what they've done. And also, you can also do a live uh, remote uh, session and uh, check their work and fix any problems. Uh, we've got classroom management, uh, so you can uh, assign robots and you can also remote control, uh, take over remote control of a student's coding, not of their computer, just of their coding. Um, yeah, so we've got a log, we've got your JavaScript, so if you're into co you know, text-based coding, uh, and then we've got all our virtual worlds. So uh, no uh, subscription with Kai's Clan. And we've got our Android app. We've got, um, you know, iPhones. We've got loads and loads of models here. Uh, so you can just search and use whatever 3D model and create those maps as your own virtual like worlds and create your own, you know, create your own landscapes. We do have uh, our own maps that you can purchase. Uh, but you can also use that on our create mat, which supports snakes and ladders, checkers. Uh, next, uh, next year, which is not so far away, we've got our virtual uh, chess ch championship, uh, which is a live uh, chess, but it's physical and virtual, um, not using robots. And that's just going to be for the US market. So all these US schools, you'll be hearing we're working with um, Heidi Williams from ISTE and Alicia, one of the teachers in the States, and we're going to launch it around ISTE, the Global Chess Challenge. So keep, um, yeah, keep your eyes open for that one. So like we said, there's a lot that can be done, but you can choose what you want to use. So we really want to make it as simple as possible for you. Um, can we maybe open up the show the physical mat and anybody that's downloaded that app can go and see what the 3D world and the AR looks like. Um, okay, so if you've got, if you have downloaded the, um, if you have downloaded that mat on the, on the floor, uh, then you can maximize the Bruce Jackson video, uh, which is my mobile phone, which is looking down at the mat. And you can hold up your iPad and uh, hold it over that and see that. Um, I don't think I can pin it. Um, I think Matt can do that. Um, Matt, over to you or Brianna, if you've got any questions that we didn't answer. All right. um, I, I don't see any other questions that have popped up that you have not answered so far. Um, I don't have any questions on my end. So let's see, anybody else in the chat? Do you wanna pop in with any questions or comments? Anything you thought was cool? Anything that you took away from everything that we've learned so far today? Yeah, this is for an LED badge. So write which features really resonated with you or that you think will be good. Put that in the chat box. And um, yeah, we will choose, uh, Brianna is gonna, be our guest and she's going to choose who's going to win the LED badge. I think she's really, really busy in the background because she's also monitoring all the social media. So, Brianna, maybe you can choose the winners. All right, let's see who we got. I know bree has been hard at work watching social media <laughs> and the chat and a little bit of everything that we asked her to do around here. All right. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you, Ginny. I uh, really like that. Yeah, students do go nuts when they start playing, but it's that whole collaboration, which is so cool. You know, we have students, they don't actually want to go and design their character in Minecraft. They want to go and do the coordinates on the mat. So it's really something for every student um, and the way they learn. Very good. And it looks like actually, uh, Looks like Brianna has actually picked Jenny as a winner for the LED name badge. So oh, congratulations, oh. Jenny. Woo. There we go. <laughs> awesome. So uh, Jenny, we will personalize that uh, with your details. Uh, please send your details to uh, Brianna or Matt, and uh, we'll send that out to you uh, with your name on it and everything personalized. So it's a cool name badge. 
you'll be able to show it off at school uh, when you get back. Um, also, what about social media? Have we got somebody on social media? It's going to win the second badge. All right. Do we have somebody? Today, Renelle. Yeah. Another cool feature I forgot to mention with Kai's clan is if there are two schools uh, using it, you can actually work together uh, because Kai's clan just works over the internet. So you can have, uh, you can give your students access to another school's robots and they can give access to your robots and you can both be like, uh, you know, getting them to code each other's robots and that's a lot of fun. All right, perfect. And it looks like our social media winner is Allison Schwartz. Yeah, well done. Oh, awesome. Thank you very, very much. So, a big perfect. high five to Allison. <laughs> All right, Allison and Ginny, um, you can send me your mailing um, instructions either through a direct, direct message in the chat or you can send it to me in an email that I'm putting into the chat right now. All right, and we'll be sure that you get your hands on those really cool LED name badges. And if you have one of these, BBC Microbits, Kais Clan also works with those as well. All right, perfect. So getting bigger. <laughs> extremely versatile. All right, so anybody else have any other questions or comments? Um, I know we went through quite a bit today and believe me, there was a lot more that we could have gone over as well. So just the integrations with Microbit that I know could have been a whole webinar in itself. So yeah, yeah. Uh, still a lot to learn. Um, I know um, speaking with Bruce and Rennell that they are open to doing some some more webinars with some small groups um, or even individual if we're looking to learn a little bit more and seeing how Kai's clan can help you in your particular campus or um, whether you're at distance learning or if you're in person or if you're doing a hybrid this is actually the perfect type of product for you um, all right hillary miller says you'd be interested to see the whole micro bits with it perfect yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, so, so Hillary, we can definitely uh, speak after the webinar and we can see what we can get put together and see if we can get a demo put together for you using Microbit. So that would be fantastic. Yeah, and Hillary, um, you know, if you join in one of our one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions or you get another couple of teachers together, we can do a session together and you can code the robots, uh, you know, from your home to the robot sitting in New Zealand, and you can also control our microbit mm -hmm. from where you are. So we can, you know, it's very uh, versatile. True global connectivity. That's really cool. All righty. So if, if nobody else has any other questions at this point, um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen once again. All righty. So Again, thank you so much, Ronell and Bruce, for taking some time out of your day, uh, working with our schedule. I know with the massive time difference that we're working with here, I know it's not too early for you this time. So um, really, we are so appreciative of you um, joining us today and speaking to some of our customers. Um, so again, please be sure that you follow Kai's Clan on Twitter. That's at Kai's underscore clan. Um, shoot us an email, give us a phone call, uh, Twitter, Facebook, there's a million different ways to get a hold of us as well as Kai's clan. So don't hesitate to reach out to any of us if you have any questions moving forward. Now, there's three things that I definitely wanted to point out here from Bruce and Rennell's presentation. So collaboration in these times of distance and hybrid learning um, are the perfect solution, including 40 lesson plans with Kai's clan. So there's some easy integrations with the unique struggles that our educators are working with in the United States right now. New Zealand has done an awesome job with the pandemic and they are currently in school in person. Um, and we are looking to take measures to do that as well. But unfortunately, we are having to take those precautions. So this is a great way to continue the learning with our students. Um, and also design robot avatars in Minecraft and Tinkercad. So Tinkercad is a skill that a lot of our students are gonna end up having to use. And 
I guarantee you 100 out of 100 of your students know what Minecraft is, and that will be something that really sets that light bulb off above their head where they want to get coding and programming using Minecraft and Kai's clan. Uh, and seeing physical environments come to life in students' virtual worlds. So that is really cool to see the physical payoff and the virtual payoff of the students' work um, in using Kai's clan. Um, personally, I really thought it was perfect and timely. I know Australia had those big horrific fires earlier on this year, um, but currently the big fires going on in Colorado and as well as California, it seems like yearly, um, some of the integrations that they've used in Kai's clan can really um, help broaden the students uh, to think more globally instead of locally as well in helping um, some people that may be in need from these tragic fires. So, um, and then from there, um, if you are unfamiliar with us, if you're just joining for the first time again, we are Maker Maven. We are a full service STEM and STEAM in Maker Education company. We're here to help you along the way, not only to get the stuff to fill your space and put in the hands of your students, but we also wanna be able to support you uh, to make sure that your implementation is seamless. So we can have great speaker, speakers like Rennell and Bruce on here that can help teach us a little bit more on how to integrate these great products into your uh, STEM and STEAM curriculum. So uh, we would love to help you move forward as well. So you can reach us at orders at makermaven.net. You can give us a call at 877-MAKER-75. We thought that was a little cute. Uh, that's 877-625-3775. There's also a little QR code on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Um, if you have your device with you, go ahead and scan that QR code. That'll just take you to our digital catalog. So we've gone completely paperless with our marketing. And so this is a great way to always have an updated catalog from all of Maker Maven's offerings. So you'll always see the last updated date on the bottom of that front page there. So in a few last minute takeaways as well. Um, so we again, we've plugged our Twitter quite a bit, but again, I'm gonna do it again here. So at maker underscore Maven um, on Twitter, and I believe it's at maker Maven one word on Facebook, please follow us on all social media, um, our YouTube channel as well. Um, all of our webinars are going to be hosting the recordings on our YouTube channel. So if there's anything that you wanna go back from this session, and if you wanna rewatch or learn a little bit more in depth on maybe some things that you've missed in the past or even future ones where you can't devote the time to um, sit on the live one hour session, you can always find the recordings on our YouTube channel. Um, as well as our blog where we do constant um, free STEM challenges where you can use stuff easily found around the school or the home that your students can do, um, whether they're fully distance learning or they're at um, on campus but unable to share physical items. Um, and we also have our future webinar series coming uh, still going so where we're going to have a new webinar every week on through Christmas break and then we'll work on our schedule for the spring semester and starting in 2021. And our next webinar is actually coming up very quick it's going to be with Merge um, so it's kind of a great segue from Kai's clan who are using augmented and virtual reality uh, to Merge who is an augmented and virtual reality company so you can use those Merge goggles in conjunction with the Kai's clan uh, augmented and virtual reality um, components as well. So I think it'd be a good way to see how you can use things across different platforms to get them to work together for your students. Um, so please follow us on social media, go to our YouTube, um, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want alerts to when we post those recordings, go ahead and click the bell to get those alerts. And then um, also sign up for our blog. So um, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Again, thank you so much, Bruce and Rennell. Thank you, Bree, for helping us out in the chat and social media. And um, I guess until next time, um, we'll see you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks, Mike of Maven. Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you.